Well, hey there, kind viewers. This is Ogman001, and we are here to play some more of uh, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. So, as we left off last time, we just cleared this room full of uh, dickheads. Um, the, the, the let's play skipped forward just a bit, just uh, as all these fuckers around the corner here are. Oh, I forgot about them. I left them. They're they're very sneaky and uh, need to be punished for their transgressions. Uh, so yes, the uh, title of this video is rather ominous. Um, yeah, it'll make sense in time. But yes, these, these yahoos thought that they could outflank me and outmaneuver me, but I am a badass, and that is something they should really... Be. It pays dividends to not forget that I am a badass and will fuck you up. Uh, but no, they didn't really understand that, and of consequence, I'm now dead. Uh, hopefully we can find some more cattle then. Uh, sadly not, we'll have to go into the next room uh, at a disadvantage. But yes, I know the title of this video is rather ominous, and I get to play the puppet master, and that you have no idea what is about to happen, unless you've seen the game, in fact. Then you might, uh, know what's around this corner. But let's see. <laughs> Help! Oh, dear. Ah, oh, yes. There we are. Um, yes, that's our blood puppet Heather that we rescued at the beginning of the game. Uh, they... Yeah, they're dickheads. So, um, we're going to have to avenge our love. I think. It's it's time to kick ass. There's a bot the spot have crossed the line this time, and it's time to uh bring him the thunder as uh we uh slash and cut our way through these bastards. So yes, this is uh I don't know, for me I thought it was quite a good plot point to be honest, but uh, that's just me. I wanna cut this guy up first. That, yes, that guy. You will do. Let's activate celerity so I don't get fucked up the ass, because that would be unfortuitous and um that would be bad and um nom 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 I'ma fuck you up. Nom 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 nom. There we go. And now we can have our delicious candy. There we go. He uh, does very little to resist and we're gonna suck the fucker dry. Because he he crossed the line. He fucked with Heather. He he is he is a piece of shit. So we're going to uh, give him the death he deserves, which is suck dry by a vampire. This chap probably probably not his fault, let's just give him a quick nip on the back. Uh, just to make sure we're on full health for the next room. So yeah, Heather's dead. Uh, wait, we can even speak to her, actually. I believe you can, anyway. There we go. It all it goes a bit weird. Oh, Heather! I swear I will, uh... Sorry, I'll, I'll do it dramatically. Oh, Heather! I swear I will avenge you! I have no idea, that was terrible. But anyway, yes, we will be avenging Heather today. Um, so we're going to have to uh, fight a boss. So there, there is a boss fight here, it's not too hard. Basically, uh, he's gonna call down a load of pillars of light and you have to be skilled enough to not stand near these pillars of light. I'm not sure what they are, but... So, you see that? Get away. It's not that difficult. Uh, there we go. And then he goes like, kapow. But eventually he'll run out of blood or something, I don't know. Yes, he's calling down these pillars of light everywhere. They're not even that painful. If you fuck up this boss fight, you deserve to die. Uh, even though I'm taking quite a bit of damage compared to how I normally do. But eventually these pillars of light will disappear and we can kill that chap. That door is locked because it's, it's like it will only open after you have killed the boss. There we go, his shield is gone. Eventually these fiery fires will go away and he'll be all like, okay bro, come at me and then I will fuck him up. I will give him not a, a chance. He, is, he has slain my Heather and he must die. We must cut the head of the beast. We must end the vile sabot. They've, they've trifled with me for the last and only time. And I wish he would stop fucking doing that. I'm taking so much damage. Even though it's hardly doing a thing. There we go. There we fucking go. Okay. Okay. So we can now kill him. That's, he's not too hard once you get to him. Because he's a blood mage. He's a bit shit. See? He is dead. We have slain the vile Sabot. And we can now leave. We do collect go. We also collect 200 pounds. Fantastic. No, we don't actually get any money. We just kill the Sabot. And I'm, I'm sure... Uh, Mr. LaCroix will be very happy with our deeds here, because uh, we did a good job. We did a good job, guys. And uh, I let him go, because I just... Oh, fuck it. I don't care anymore. I just want to go home. I'm done. I'm done with you guys. You bore me. You, you're all boring. I'll have some of you. There we go. I'm done here. I've had enough of you. I, I wish to leave. I have slain your organization. You are now crippled and limp. And, of course, they're probably bricking it now, because they're like... Uh, he just cut up our boss. He was like a powerful vampire wizard, and uh, he's all, we've also just sliced through tons of their friends. I mean, you've seen how many fuckers we had to waste on the way down here. These guys must be like, ah, shit. 
Or at least that's how I would be, because this guy's a fucking beast. He is a legend. He is he is Almanac, destroyer of worlds. But yeah, so we're we're making good progress actually. I I'm not sure. Maybe four episodes more? I don't know. I don't know. Ah, good. We're in we're in a parking lot of some description. I'm sure this will be easy to escape from. Let's walk through this door here. Ah oh, shit. What the hell is going on here? Guess what? Save time. Save game. J.R.C. motherfucker. But yes, uh, so we have fought our way through the, um, whatever you want to call it. We have fought our way through the, uh, Sabat, and we are now going to find their leader. Let's see, uh, what kind of, what is their leader? I think it was leader fight, anyway. Ah, yes. Zimitsi. Remember him? I recognize the smell of your blood, young canine. Well, hello there. Um, I'm back. I forgot how to do this boss fight, but I just remembered why um, I was doing so little damage. So, um, yeah, uh, so we're gonna go right from the top, and I can show you how to beat this fucker. I recognize the smell of your blood, young Knight. Very potent. Greater than our last meeting. I could smell it even over the flood of my fallen brethren. Doesn't that make you wonder? Ah, so yes, our good friend Mr. Zimitsi is back. Um, so, uh, Mr. Squishy Head is back because he wants, he, he loves us, he can't get enough of us. No, um, he is the leader of the Sabbat here, so we are going to waste this fucker. Didn't I kill you already? This time, I'll finish the job. Puppet! The strength of your blood is all that saved you from yourself. Wretched, weak-minded mongrel. The blood is wasted in you. Wasted! <laughs> no, uh, but yes. Um, let's see. Puppet for who? LaCroix? Nines Rodriguez? Miserable, ignorant gutter spawn. You are blind. The sarcophagus must be destroyed. Uh, let's see. What? What do you think is going to happen? I will do it myself if I must. And you, you will be purified. It is the blood that he is speaking through. The blood of all the pawns. It all must be purified. Finally, let's do this. So yes, uh, basically you want to, uh, I forget where it is, there. So you want to run a uh, straight away, grab this, and equip it. This is a very powerful melee weapon, which is very nice. Uh, I would recommend you grab it because yeah, it's, it's a nice weapon. This sword was forged, Talmare, a vanished sect of kindred. Uh, yeah, basically, it's they ventured into the lands of the dead. It causes uh, aggravated damage, which is useful for the supernatural killings. So let's uh, make sure slowly is active. And as you can see, he does a shit ton of damage, but so do we. Uh, when he does that, he'll explode into fire and justice. Uh, luck I don't think you can hit him on the down part, but you might be able to. I'm not too sure, but yeah. Basically, with normal weapons, you do far less damage. I think there's also a flamethrower you can use that I missed. That will also do a lot of damage because fire is bad for vampires. Funny that, I guess. Let's see if we can... No, I don't think we can hit him as he dives into the blood. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, we should win this fight, providing I don't fuck it up too bad. Uh, like that, providing if I don't do that again, we should be fine. There we go. As you can see, we are doing a lot of damage, but he's also doing a lot of damage. Uh, hopefully we should be able to make it. I think we will. We, he's already on half health. We're on just below half health. I can't remember 100% what that yellow shit means. Let's, there we go. Move out of the way. Uh, as you can see, we, we're not doing too bad. I probably should have moved out of the way of that, but I couldn't be fucked, to be perfectly honest. Um, I think he's going to come out once more, and we should be able to kill the Zulo shape, and uh, all glory to the Blood God. There we go. Let's make sure he doesn't hit us. Ow, he hits us. Let's, there we go. There we go. That's the money shot. So yes, we've killed the Zulo shape. Um, I think that means, well, you saw he exploded, unlike last time where he vanished into the floor. That means he has been delivered his final. So we're good. Um, I think that means we can leave, maybe? I forgot what I'm supposed to do now. 
But yes, uh, let's see. What do we find through here? Ah, it's gonna it's gonna get us out. We wander out. We end up in the streets. Fantastic. Good job, game. Now we need to do is go back to Lacroix, and uh, he'll give us a pat on the back and uh, tell us we did a good job. Because I think we did. Be at peace, kindred. You stand amongst friends now. Uh, yes. Now, while they do seem friendly, you want to be careful with these fuckers because they can be very manipulative. Let's see. Really? Your agents at the Giovanni stronghold weren't so friendly. Indeed. The Chang brothers, my greatest agents, undone by the young soldier of Lacroix. It was obvious your path was greater than I or he had anticipated. What about an alliance between you and Lacroix? We did have an arrangement, Lacroix and I. A mutually beneficial pact to drive the lesser factions from the city. Why couldn't you tell me about this before? Again, Kindred, I could not have guessed the significance of your path. My arrangement with your prince was too sensitive to reveal. What happened to the arrangement? Lacroix's zeal in recovering the Ankaran sarcophagus has been to the exclusion of many relationships, mine included. And I, like yourself, have been used by him in his desperate quest for power. Likely story. Lacroix feared Alistair Grout, the Malkavian primogen, for the cursed insight of his bloodline was strong and brought him uncomfortably close to the truth about Lacroix's ambitions. And so? Lacroix saw an opportunity to rid himself of two problems a hardened rebel leader and a problematic primogen in one fell stroke. And as you can see, I was integral to his plan. Oh shit, son! <laughs> what the hell? How did you. I don't understand. Actually, I think, I think we'll play it cool. Uh, things are beginning to make sense. Lacroix convinced me that an alliance with a Camarilla could strengthen the position of the Quajin. And so, with my help, your prince framed Nines Rodriguez for the murder of Alistair Grout. <laughs> uh, as you can see, his plan just sort of fell into place. Um, let's think. Uh, I'm not going to ask how she did it. Vampire bullshit. I'm not sure if we get to ask multiple questions. So, let's see. Uh, we know why... She's obviously the one we saw at Grant's Mansion, so option two is probably going to get us the most information. Why did you need to strengthen your position? Our war with the Annex has taken its toll. A truce with the Camarilla allowed us to marshal our remaining forces and focus on a lone enemy. Uh, I don't like what she's doing. She's being very manipulative, underhanded, but so is everyone. So I'm probably not going to end up siding with her. Because we, we've got to start picking who, we, who we're going to throw our towel with. Or not at all. There are a variety of endings depending on how you treat people and various other factors that you will see because we're coming we're coming to the end of the game. All all of this is coming to a head. Let's see. Uh let's see which we got for. Alright, so what's the problem? Why break the alliance now? Our dealings with LaCroix have put his integrity into question. He has become careless. His desire for the sarcophagus seems to have superseded all other concerns, including political discretion. Go on. It is obvious to me that he wishes to obtain it, only so that he might use its power against those who would oppose him. If he betrays his own kind in these pursuits, can I trust him to honor our allegiances? Can you? Let's see. Uh, this all sounds screwy, I don't buy it. I'm not going to reveal my hand to her. I don't know what to believe anymore. I'm leaving now, Ming Zhao. Hear these words, Kindred. The sarcophagus is sealed against the ages. Only the proper key will break this seal. That key now lies safely in Quajin hands. Your prince's prize cannot be had without it. I see. Thanks for your honesty, Ming. I hope you recognize my sincerity, Kindred. I would like to see you reach your destination before your path is cut short. I hope when next we meet, it is again as friends. We'll see. Later. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, uh, shit is going down. Uh, all, all the paths are merging to one. And uh, I guess that's where we're going to leave things. What's going on? Who's, who's, who's killing who? 
uh, all mysteries will be revealed, but uh, you're going to have to tune in next time. This has been Ogma 001. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. I have. And that's all that counts.